I want to start by talking about testing. In Oregon, we've tested 524 people so far total. We still have about 80 tests every single day. Now let's draw some comparisons to our neighbors. The state of Washington has 1,000 tests a day. California has 7,400 tests every day. And even when you consider population differences, we are still way behind. Here's a question from Michael Romano. He said, hey, Dan, ask him straight, no BS, non-political and very specific as to what he's doing to get testing kits in Oregon, how many are coming, when, and how often they will be replenished and distributed. What I can tell you is that the president always says that he's making the United States number one. We are not number one in terms of testing. For example, I and a whole host of senators yesterday, Democrats and Republicans, really pushed the administration very hard about why we are so dramatically lagging South Korea. I mean, this is a country that should not be far, far ahead of the United States. So what I'm doing is I'm using my position as the ranking Democrat on the Senate Finance Committee to push the Trump administration as hard as I can in a bipartisan way to step up their game in terms of testing, trying to make uh, the protective equipment more available. But I'm not going to kind of mince words with your viewers. I mean, this is an administration that actually closed the pandemic office in 2018 when we should have been preparing for exactly what we're dealing with now and we're playing catch up ball. So events are being canceled in the state. Businesses are closing down. People aren't going out. Schools are closing. Part-time workers and business owners are not getting paid. Lorna Dryden, she said, wage loss is the bottom line for people. Can they get unemployment benefits? We had another viewer on Twitter ask, what are we doing to protect against evictions and penalties of people who are losing jobs and can't get unemployment? Now I'm going to ask you a little bit more generally, what can we do to help keep, uh, keep want, people afloat as they're trying to keep yeah. this virus from spreading? I, I want your viewers to know I'm the point person in the United States Senate on improving unemployment compensation for folks who are hurting. And what we're trying to do is model it a little bit after the disaster program, after 9-11, we saw an effort to really speed up the unemployment compensation, make it generous because it's only a few hundred dollars a week for so many uh, Oregonians. So I'm focused on that. I'm also focused though on trying to get assistance to people who haven't been able to find you know, jobs. We have lots of um, low income folks, communities of color and others. So again, this is a question of who do you want to help? Do you want to get help to these workers who really are two thirds of the American economy? The consumer drives the you know, American economy. Or do you think, for example, the president spent, I don't know, the better part of a week saying that he wanted a uh, social security payroll tax cut. That would have provided hundreds of billions of dollars to the biggest you know, corporations. It would have hurt Social Security, and we would have had, uh, uh, a, once again, a skewed set of priorities. I think I blocked it. So what should people expect if they are a part-time worker and they worked at the Moda Center and now all these events are canceled so they can't make their buck, they can't pay their rent? What should they think? I want them, and this is what I'm working on, to get improved and quick unemployment compensation help. I want them to get help uh, if they haven't had sick days and, uh, and the like. And in, in particular, I want them to know that they can get easier access to these healthcare services when right now they really feel that they're in the dark. I think what I've been struck by being home since you know late last night and getting out and talking uh, to people, the biggest frustration beyond the fact, for example, we lag behind these other countries and the like, which comes up everywhere, is that they just feel in the dark. All right. First of all, thank you to everybody at home who sent in those questions for me to ask the senator. I also asked about a lack of ventilators, which we discussed just a minute ago. Why lawmakers aren't back in Washington right now? Why is he here in Oregon? Why, why aren't they back there trying to figure out what to do about this? And about his federal vote by mail legislation, which is starting to look a lot more and more important as we see Louisiana postponed its primary next week because of coronavirus. You can see the entire interview. We talked for a while. Right now it's on the KGW YouTube channel.